You're watching Action News Now. Storm Tracker weather, coverage you can count on. There's a live look from smack dab in the center of the valley, high atop the Sutter Buttes. Plenty of uh, clouds there, but plenty of blue sky as well. About uh, 18 minutes past 6 o'clock on this Friday night. And uh, let's check in with meteorologist Patrick Wright on how the weekend is shaping up. And we will see a return of the showers and thunderstorms, especially in the mountains. Some of that could make its way into the valley. For now, it is much calmer. Looking at the radar, just one little spot we are watching. That is in Trinity County. Some light showers at this point in time. One bolt of lightning earlier. So yeah, this is much calmer than what it was compared to 24 hours ago. This is what it looks like from the Igami camera. Looking south into Tehama County, some of the thunderstorm activity, or at least some of the shower activity in Trinity County off in the distance there. Some high clouds moving through this evening. We have a calm night ahead. As I mentioned, the thunderstorm chances will be returning for tomorrow, and we will have a chance to be back into the 90s by the middle of next week. Here's what we have for the future cast tonight. Any activity in Trinity County will be shutting down by about 10 o'clock, and we just have a few high clouds moving through this evening for the valley and the surrounding mountains. Tomorrow, 9 a.m., starting off very mild and very comfortable. We will see that'll we see that change by the afternoon and evening. Chance for scattered showers and thunderstorms coming to the Sierra. This could include some small hail, gusty wind, and heavy rain at times. So be weather aware as you are out and about in the mountains. And that'll continue well into the evening lasting to about 8.30 tomorrow night. And we'll see some of those showers and thunderstorms moving through to the west. And that means some possibility of it making it into the valley cannot be ruled out. So be weather aware tomorrow if you are out and about both in the valley and the mountains. For your wind forecast, we'll see gusts coming out of the south up to about 15 miles per hour tonight. That'll die down by early tomorrow morning, 7.30 on Saturday, but pick up again by tomorrow afternoon. I think we will have a dominant southerly flow for the most part in our region, although some gusts up to about 15, 20, maybe even 30 miles per hour associated with those thunderstorms will be possible. And some of the downsloping, if it's coming from the east, may bump up our temperatures by tomorrow night. That doesn't last long. By early Sunday morning, things get back to right around normal. We're pretty calm for the breezes. Highs ten or lows tonight, I should say, in the upper 50s to lower 60s. So a very comfortable night ahead. Tomorrow, we're sitting in the mid 80s, 86 in Reading, 83 in Chico. As I mentioned, with that easterly flow of wind possible with those thunderstorms moving from the mountains that may bump up some of the temperatures in the North Valley. For now, I am going with the mid 80s. For the future cast in the upper levels of the atmosphere, we are seeing a low pressure area, air of low pressure move farther south and that may move some moisture into our area, bringing back those chances for showers and thunderstorms. That will last from Saturday to at least Monday, and Monday evening, that area of low pressure moves to the east, and we start to see an area of high pressure build back in, and by Wednesday, that means our temperatures are back into the lower 90s. There is some uncertainty when it comes to that area of low pressure just off the coast of Southern California, that's what we're going to be watching, but for now, it is looking like we will see those temperatures sticking around into the end of the work week next week. This is what the seven day forecast looks like mid 80s this weekend that return for showers and thunderstorms. We'll see that continue into Monday temperatures rebounding to the mid to upper 80s by Tuesday and sticking with the lower 90s from Wednesday to Friday. No thunderstorm chances by the end of next week as that ridge of high pressure shuts those chances down, but it will be getting hot, which is pretty much right where we're supposed to be for this time of year. Thanks, Patrick.